I want to start out with a really simple question. Watch this. <laughs> See these guys I'm pulling out of here? I want to ask you one simple question. Why are these alive? Now you think I'm dropping these on purpose, don't you? They're really kind of like moving a lot. Why are these alive? Now look, you guys are biologists or biologist wannabes or budding biologists or whatever it is we're going to call it. In fact, we're all biologist wannabes. And so the very first question we need to ask is, why are these alive? And the second question is, do I have paper towels to wipe my hands with? Because I can tell you another thing is they're pretty slimy too. But you know, the key to this whole story of life is, and, and biology, is what makes something alive? What makes something that, that a biologist sees and says, cool, that's alive, what gives it life? And, and the other question we need to ask ourselves is if we know something is alive, so what? What are we as biologists gonna do about that thing? And what we are going to do about that thing, because we have an intellectual curiosity, is we're going to describe it. Because in describing what makes something alive, we can, we can literally take a look at the big picture. These things are alive. Well, do they contain the same life and, 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 and livingness that I contain, that a bacterium contains? What makes something alive? And it turns out that, that as we learn more and more about biology and, 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 and the environment around us, that the key to life is organization. Let me show you what I mean. You know, I've often said to my students that taking chemistry and physics is very, very important. And the reason it's important is so you can become a biologist. Because to really understand life, you have to understand the way things work at the subatomic and the atomic level. You see, look, you're made out of molecules. You know that. You're made out of molecules. Those things that were just squirming around, they're made out of molecules. What are molecules made out of atoms? What are atoms made out of subatomic particles? Protons, neutrons, electrons, and physicists will take even deeper than that. They'll talk about neutrinos and antineutrinos. Uh, you know, you know how that goes. But the key is that when we get to this level and we start to organize these things, we start to get close to life. But then I can ask you, all right, is this made out of subatomic particles? You betcha. Is it made out of atoms? You betcha. Is it made out of molecules? You betcha. So is it alive? Come on, it's got the whole things, and the answer is no, because somewhere in between molecules, organelles, and cells, we come to that secret called life. And I'll tell you, over, over the next series of lectures, way over 300, you're going to learn the true secret to life. Because molecules do organize themselves into subcellular parts and called organelles. And organelles organize themselves or are organized into structures called cells. And cells, as you probably know, organize into tissues. And, and here is the secret to life, right in that box right there. Now, we know the tissues are organized into organs. You hear the word organized coming over and over again. What did I say? To, life is orderly organization. Is that a redundancy? I don't know. Organs into organ systems. Systems into a multicellular organism. Even that word is kind of goofy, you know. I, I sometimes struggle with the word organism. Why? Well, if it's an organism, all right, because it's multicellular, we often, you'll hear, you'll hear biologists say this all the time. Ah, a, an amoeba is an organism. Why do we say that? Because it's alive, but it's only one cell. So sometimes the words get a little bit bizarre here, but you're gonna have fun. And of course, then we get to the ecological level, the interaction level, okay? And so we'll have populations, communities, ecosystems, environments, and eventually the world, where so far is the only place we have found life. But you know, who knows? I mean, and, and you know what? It's kind of interesting, if, if you were to take a look at the world, life is pretty much limited to a very thin layer around the, 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 the world. You know, I don't think you're gonna, we're ever gonna find life in the center of the earth, although you know, you never know. So, so the point here is that in order to be alive, we, notice what I just did, I described something. I described what it is to be alive. And something like this, which isn't alive, as far as I know, all right, 
it lacks that, that ability. It has organization, but it lacks that ability to do certain other things. 